This is the place I was telling you about. Twelve pounds of sugar. Three cans of malt. Twelve cakes of yeast. What did you say? Twelve cakes of yeast. When are you going to get that tooth fixed? Every time you speak, you make a funny noise. It sounds like a pipe organ. One dozen packages of hops and three crocs. Now, let's see. See, it goes from seven. See, seven, carry two. Now, for eight dollars and six cents, we can make 15 gallons. But we can't drink 15 gallons. What we can't drink, we can sell. Come on. you into. Well, you sold that policeman that bottle of beer, didn't you? I didn't know he was a policeman. I thought he was a streetcar conductor. Hey, come over here. What's your name? Stanley Laurel. Say sir when you're addressing me. Now what's your name? Sir Stanley Laurel. He can't help that, sir. It's a loose tooth, sir. Yeah? Well, we'll be seeing to that. What's your name? Oliver Norville Hardy. Hmm. A couple of beer barons, eh? All right, Shields. Press them.
let's go. Smile. Can I have one? Come on, get out of here. Come on. Hey, you. Fall in. The new men are here, sir. My, my. And still they come. Let us begin with a perfect understanding. I am just as sorry to see you here as you are to be here. Keep one thing in mind. It all depends on you yourselves just how you're going to fare during your stay here. Never forget that this is a prison. And in a prison, all rules must be obeyed. Discipline is the one thing that must be observed. If you are good prisoners, everything will be okay. If you are not, if you break the rules, then it will be just plain hell on earth. Do you understand? Yes, sir. <laughs> Great it was his shot, you! Put him in cell 14! But not in with the tiger, sir. Put them in cell 14! Yes, sir. Get them out of here before I lose my temper. Tiger, you talking to the warden like that. Fine piece of business. Convict talking to the warden. Why, I'll take those men and I'll break them. I'll put them in cell 14. I don't care who's in there. But I'll do it. Amos and Andy. Hello, Squirt. Hello. All right, 
inside. Come on inside. Said hello, Squirt. Hello. I'm sorry, sir, but that was it. You see, shut up. What are you doing there? Keep off of my head. Pardon me, I'm a stranger here. What are they? that does that. What are you in for? We're a couple of beer barons.
Good morning, pupils. Good morning, Good morning Peter. Peter. here will answer present, and those that are not here will say absent. Now we shall now have an intelligence test. Who was Columbus? The mayor of Ohio. What did he do? He died. Robin. Who said that? I did. Correct. What is a blizzard? A blizzard? Blizzard is the inside of a buzzard. Mm. Fresh, huh? How many times do three go into nine? Three times. Correct. And two left over. What are you laughing at? There's only one left over. Listen, you spell needle. N E I D L E. There is no I in needle. Then it's a rotten needle. Find out who did it. They'll stand in the corner. Uh, now, what is a comet? You. Comet. A comet is a star with a tail on it. Right. Hmm. Name one. Brent in tin. For that, you'll stay after school. 
Now, let me hear what I trust you get. <laughs> any imagination. Can't you imagine us growing strawberries and raspberries? Oh, I don't like raspberries. Well, we'll grow watermelon. Sun-kissed watermelon. Why, we'll plant acres and acres of watermelon. Why, we'll have more than we can eat. Yeah, and, and what we can't eat, we can sell. <laughs> well, just for that, I won't take you with me. This looks like our big day. Ah, oh, what's the use? They doubled the guards on the gates. We'll never get through. Well, it's now or never. But don't take a chance now. How are we going to find out? Look. They're opening the gates. See, now's our chance. Uh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Thanks. I got an idea. I'll find out what's outside of them gates. Hey! Hello, pal. Hey, pal. Hello, pal. Hello, Dean. How are you? Hello, buddy. <laughs> Hello, pal. Come over here. Hello, well, buddy. Well, well, Where have you guys been? We've been down in the hole. Sultry confinement. Yeah? All right. They've made a clean break. They've got those two new fish with them. They have a running star harness. Call out every available man. Scour every inch of ground, north, south, east, and west. Call up every police station within a radius of 50 miles. Get in touch with the sheriff's office. And... No matter what news, when we captured the tag and the gang, we didn't get a mile away. We caught them down the old stone quarry and took them out of shot. But what? Well, it's those two new fish. They got away. Not a sign of them. Why, they disappeared as if the earth had completely swallowed them. Well, don't worry about those two babes in the woods. Use the bloodhounds. Those hounds never fail. I then trail them so straight that it'll be a cinch. Those hounds are ferocious. They're killers. <laughs> I'd like to see their faces when they hear those hounds. A hop to it. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. <laughs> Keep the engine along, keep the engine along. What's 
they'll never recognize us in a hundred years. But once in your life, you've hit up on a good idea. A practical idea? Say, what about the tooth, the buzzer? Oh, I fixed that too. I balconized it. You what? I balconized it. I put some chewing gum in there and it don't buzz anymore. You're actually using your brain. That's what comes from associating with me. What do you mean, associate? Tut, 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 tut. Tut, 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 tut. Come on here, you always dragging behind. Come here. Now, come on, let's go. Come on, come on here, now, let's go. Come on. That's the way. to name this one Oliver. Sing it, boy. I'm gonna ride. Gonna ride that train. I mean that southbound passenger train. I'm gonna buy me a ticket just as long as my own. I'm gonna ride that train, babe, all night long. I'm gonna ride. Gonna ride that train. I mean that southbound passenger train. She go to to ride the train. All aboard for Birmingham. I got a letter from my dad, babe. I love it, babe. In Birmingham. I got a love. I got a letter from my dad. Make me happy if you will. 
lady sees your face a peeping. A peeping. Then I know a promise she'll be keeping. Tell me what's the matter? Are you sleeping? Lazy This would have to happen just when I'm due back at the prison at noon. Well, I'll see if I can locate the trouble. Do you know anything about an automobile? Yes, ma'am. I wonder if you'd give us a hand. Well, we'd be very glad to. Have you got any tools, lady? Yes, they're under the back seat. Just a minute. Ow! What? What's going on here? Oh, Daddy, I'm so sorry. These two men are going to help us with the car. Oh. All right. Well, I'll keep my head out of the way next time. No! doesn't know us. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, the carburetor now. Uh, no. Must be the generator. No, it can't. Uh, the spark plug. Now, let's see. Let's see. Oh, good. Your hands off of it. Get another car and see if this works. No. No. <laughs> I'll do it. Why don't you look out, Bill? Why, Dad? You're out of gas. Well, no wonder it wouldn't run. Hey, Oliver, uh, Sambo, they're out of gas.
cards. Anytime you're up my way, drop in. You can work for me anytime. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Goodbye. should be attended to. Yes, sir. As soon as I get out, I'm going to have it fixed. Do you know that song about the Yanks are coming? Come on. We're going to yank that, too. Come on. Come on. All right, I'll take you now. Another customer for you. Fix them up. Okay. Hey, Rosebud. Sit
sneaked in. Ollie, what? I'm scared. Why, there's nothing to be afraid of. I'll stay right with you. Mind if I have my friend in here with me? Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, stop your playing. Which one is it? This one. Huh? Uh-uh. Then what do you have to pull for? Uh, it's only loose. It buzzes. didn't you tell him? I thought you were laughing. Say, what are you beeping about? Did I get the right tooth? You got the right tooth, but the wrong man. Oh, I beg your pardon. Now, steady. I'll get the right one. See, it didn't hurt a bit, did it? Not a bit. <laughs> oh, we got to get out of here. That's all it is. Listen. Everything is okay. Now, don't get nervous when the time comes. Hey, uh, I ain't nervous. I'll go right now. Oh, I'll wait a minute. Back your dumbbell, you want to kill everything? Tiger's plotting again, is he? How did you find it out? We overheard those two new fish talking it over in the yard. We've got them outside now. Do you want to see them? No, I haven't time to bother with them. Oh, the tiger and his gang are at it again, eh? 
I've no time to question those two fish now. I'll tell you what you do. Double the guard on the front gate. Put more men on the walls. Throw a guard around the arsenal. Telephone the governor we may need the militia. Train your biggest guns on the front gate. That's where we're going to need the most. So they wanted a showdown, did they? They wanted a fight to a finish, did they? Well, by the living Lucifer, they're going to get it! Go on, now hop to it. Hey, what's the big idea? We are just in conference. Well, do your conferring down in the mess hall. Fall in. We are not going to the mess hall. We are not going to eat. You're not going to eat? No, we're on a hunger strike. Emphatically. What? You're going to pass up that nice big roast turkey with chestnut dressing and sweet potatoes southern style, great big pan of hot biscuit, and strawberry shortcake smothered in whipped cream, sprinkled with powdered sugar, with a nice big maraschino cherry on the top of it. Coast followed by uh, a nice big slice of ice cold watermelon and a big black cigar. Any nuts? All you can eat of them. How about postponing the strike till tomorrow? Well, but not one minute after tomorrow. Come on, Paulie! dinner. Sit down, you. Haven't we had bad luck enough without you spilling the salt? Make a wish and throw some over your left shoulder. to get it. The warden's going to fix you. Huh? And it's set. Hey, 
squealed on us, that dirty rat. Yeah. But I'll get him. I'll say we'll get him. After dinner, I got you. where we are. Let's go.
in showing its appreciation of your bravery. It was the firing of the signal shots in the mess hall that saved us from a disaster of cataclysmic dimension. Thank you, sir. Now go. Begin life anew. Forget this. Let this episode here be just a hiatus to be obliterated from your memory. And don't forget that I'm your friend. Anything that I can do to help you start where you left off, call on me at any time. Thank you, sir. We'll start all over again. We certainly will. Can we take your order for a couple of cases? Why, you can get it to it! 